Well, this is truly unexpected. I can't recall the last time someone came to my home. For what reason you came, I wonder? Have you come to learn more about the stories that haunt this manor? Perhaps you're like those teenagers who love to come here and wreck whatever they see. Or perhaps you're homeless, seeking shelter from the winds and rain. Hmm. You came alone. I can certainly cross off satisfying your carnal desires with a partner then. Was it a simple foolish bet that made you come here tonight? No matter. What's done is done. You're trapped inside with me. T oh! Uh, oh my. Uh, um, you there. Please, go get a room for them. Yes, I know I overdid it, but now's not the time. Ah, good. You're awake. Whoa, whoa. Easy there, easy. You banged your head pretty hard back there. Though, I won't deny it, that was certainly my fault. Water? Tea? Are you hungry for anything? I can have a servant fetch you something if you like. Where are you? Oh, well, you are still in my manor. Specifically, the second floor guest bedroom. I had you brought up when you banged your head. After my little greeting. <sighs> Terribly sorry for that. But I couldn't help myself. I should have stopped sooner, but your reaction when you were just spinning around, shivering, trying to find where I was... Uh, oh, is something the matter? My... yes, what you see is all real. Everything from ever since you walked through my front door. Do... do you not believe it? I suppose the head injury can make this all seem like a dream. Um... Oh, um, here. Give me a hand. Here. See? Physically here. Pale, smooth, cold skin and everything. Yep. Cold skin. At least it should be or otherwise. That's right. I am indeed a vampire. Uh, don't believe me? Um, oh, here. Look closely at my eyes. Yes, that's right. A nice little change of red. And how about my ears? A little bit pointy at the top, no? Oh, oh, here's the obvious one. Fangs. Huh? Huh? Pretty neat, right? Oh, wait, I can tell you still seem skeptical. Well... Check this out. Ta-da! So, what do you think? Um. <clears throat> um. Sorry about that. Truth be told, I'm a bit of a showboat. Always one for theatrics. But maybe you guessed that from how I greeted you. Do you believe me now, though? I understand. It's probably a lot to take in. I don't blame you. Hmm. Well, yeah. Those local legends and stories about this place are true. Well, partly. To my knowledge, the town likes to tell stories of how there's groups of evil, blood-sucking creatures of the night who dwell in this manor. Preying on the innocent as we feast until we had our fill. Well, perhaps they were true before, but those stories were created during a time where even I wasn't alive. Though I suppose I am a bit young for vampire standards. Ah, you don't need to know about that. Maybe another time. Look, here's the truth in what you need to know. In this manner, there indeed once held a large amount of vampires. But as the years went on and more and more of the human society grew to become more advanced and less scared of silly folk tales, the vampires slowly started to leave. For, well, their own reasons. I don't know exactly. Maybe they were just power hungry. Or, well, literally hungry. 
But what is clear is that many of these older, greedy vampires, they eventually died out. And now you have the remaining younger vampires throughout the world who are... Well, we're just looking to live and relax. Yep, that's right. Honestly, many of us don't mind that you humans came into power over the years. Yes, there were a lot of setbacks and hiccups. You even had the whole world at war twice. But with time, your species advanced in medicine, technology, and other areas that would probably be better off with you than in the hands of some old power crazy vampire. As for me personally, I'm just happy to live and not worry about humans hunting me. Oh, the whole hunting humans at night thing? Mm, nobody does that anymore. Too obvious and dangerous, actually. Imagine a bunch of dead people showing up on the news with all their blood drained and mysteriously dying at night or in secluded places. I mean, come on. Everyone is too smart nowadays to think. Yeah, no, something's going on at night. We either stay inside at night and be safe, or go out at night and hunt down the person who's doing this. I don't mean to be rude, but considering how many of you like to choose the more straightforward, violent route... I knew you'd get it. So, enough about me. How about you? What's your name and what made you come here? Ah, me first? Fair enough. I suppose I owe you that formality then. Oh, you're gonna love this. Mm. Be honored, human. For you have been graced with the presence of one of the most extravagant, nay, the most ostentatious of vampires of the past century. I am a cut above the other vampires. I live and rule with... Hmm? Oh, come on. It's been so long since I've introduced myself to a human. At least let me have this. <sighs> you know what? The mood's already gone. Anywho, yada yada yada. Creature of the night this. Blah 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 blah. I respect humans. Don't feed on them. Etc. Etc. <sighs> My name is Dorian. Pleasure to meet you. Ah, so that's your name. Good. I don't have to call you human or mortal any longer. Now then. How about you tell me what made you want to visit my manor at this hour? Oh, apologies. I would offer you some tea, but this one has been spiked. With, I'm sure you know what. A servant of mine shall be around shortly with something for you soon. But until then, please, tell me a story. <laughs> well, my friend, that is indeed quite the story. Given how descriptive you were at some points, I would wager to say it was all made up. Hmm. I would say you would have no reason to lie. Well, aside from my supernatural origins. Regardless, I do hope up until now I have been the best of hosts to you, and that everything you said was the truth. Now then, after our chat and giving you something to eat, how are you feeling? Is your head still throbbing in any way? Surprised, are we? No need to be. The servant who treated you is one of our best. Not to mention she quite literally gave me a stern talking as she worked. The fact that she don't have any headaches or pains whatsoever, it's just a testament to her skill. Well, with maybe a hint of supernatural magic to speed the process along. Now, if for some reason you end up drowsy in the day, wanting to shun yourself away from the sun, or have an insatiable craving for blood... T the look on your face. Don't worry, don't worry. It was only a joke. Seems like you have another question, though. Well, come on, no need to be shy. Go right ahead and ask. Oh, when can you leave? Shame, I was hoping you could stay a bit longer. Oh no, no terrible jokes this time. That's just me being honest. 
You know, despite the servants and the occasional visit from other vampires or supernaturals, having a conversation with a regular human, it's... well, it's nice and refreshing. But pay me no mind, though. I understand. You have to go. So, please, come follow me. No need to worry about the bed. We'll fix it later once you leave. So, just to clarify two things. First off, you won't go telling anybody what happened here tonight. It saves us the hassle of wiping your memory. Hmm. Secondly, how are you feeling now? Any residual headaches or pains? Nothing at all? Ah, very good. Well then, if you look over there to the right, that was the path you took when you came through the woods. I'm sure I don't have to tell you much. Simply stay on the path, no need to worry about anything like wolves or bears. Luckily, it is nearly dawn, so the wood should begin to show more clearly and eventually light up once you reach the end. Oh yes, you indeed slept and stayed for that long. If you were awake any earlier, you would have possibly met some of the manor's occupants, though many of them retired to bed an hour or so before first light. Ah, no need to worry about thanking her for treating your injuries. I'll be sure to pass on your thanks once she wakes up. Hmm? Well, yes, I'll pass on your thanks. After all, I wouldn't blame you if you didn't want to come back. Wait, am I mistaken, or... Um, are you sure you're not feeling anything weird in the head? Nothing at all. You actually wish to return to my manor in the future. Well, I suppose it's my turn now to be in disbelief. Oh no, it's not that you can't really, but, well, it's very unexpected. So, you're serious. Actually, very serious. This is great! Oh, this is wonderful! Please, feel free to visit any time. I already know you aren't a harmful person. So, all I ask is that you just keep this all a secret. I mean, otherwise, well, if you don't, well... Uh, oh, you will? Excellent, excellent. Oh no, no, I wasn't gonna say anything. <gasps> Wait, when do you plan on returning? Oh, you must simply on Halloween night. Many friends will come to visit me for a yearly get-together. And I would love for you to meet them. Oh, wait. Actually, you don't have to on that night. In case you're still uncomfortable with vampires. Especially a room full of them. You'll try? Ah, don't worry. They're very friendly anyway, but I will make sure no harm comes to you if you come. I swear it upon my name. Wonderful. Then I suppose I'll await your return. Oh, a phone number? Um, about that? Well, first off, the manor itself doesn't have that good of service. And, well, the area around my manor has been... hexed. I suppose you can say that. It's just to prevent anybody who wanted too close to call for more people, take videos, basically have evidence of us being there. So I'm afraid I won't be able to stay in contact with you via phone. Wait, actually, you know what? Next time you come on Halloween night, I promise I'll have something prepared for you so we can stay in contact, okay? Excellent. Now, please, you must start walking. We'd rather not have anybody back home worry about your absence. Until next time, my friend. And remember, keep this all a secret.